As a ceasefire between Israelis and Palestinians holds now for a second day, today many Palestinians are returning to their homes to assess the damage following nearly a month of fighting. They found entire city blocks, towns and villages destroyed. The current ceasefire is the longest lull in a war that's killed more than 1,000 Palestinians and nearly 70 Israelis, including three civilians. A half dozen firefighters from North Texas just returned from that area, just north of the Gaza Strip, and they can confirm that terrorist attacks on Israel happen every day. Fox 4 News' Melissa Cutler reports these firefighters who usually rush in to save others had to learn fast how to survive themselves. This is video taken by a North Texas firefighter on the front lines of Operation Protective Edge last week, running for cover in Israel as missiles constantly flew overhead. It was literally rockets back and forth. They went into a nearby fire station, Hamas rockets intercepted by the Israeli Iron Dome anti-missile system. It's an experience you can't describe. There weren't many moments of quiet. I went into the operations chief for the fire department and he told me we need to start pulling the guys from the border for the main fact that they were receiving intel that Hamas was going to start abducting people, taking hostages. It was a pretty, pretty hairy situation. The firefighters are part of EVP, the Emergency Volunteer Project. About a half dozen men from Mesquite, Rockwall, Arlington, and Combine. They rode in armored fire trucks, and not everybody they met spoke English. One of many hurdles they had to overcome. You can sit down with an Israeli firefighter and discuss things and figure things out in firefighter language. Sign language. Yeah, and, and it's a brotherhood, and you make it work. It gave these firefighters a deeper respect for the men and women of the armed forces. After the initial shock, they went down to work. So that's all we're thinking, okay, what, what do we need to do to make this better? So you get over the initial shock of a missile, but then the firefighting kicks in. Even though mental adjustments had to be made. The main tactic that's quite different than ours is generally we rush right in yeah. here. You wait. There you wait. You wait and see secondary issues, secondary explosions. Now the Texas firefighters joined other firemen from Los Angeles and Washington, D.C. And as dangerous as it was, they said they wouldn't hesitate to go back if the conflict continues and they are called upon to do it again. Steve. Melissa Cutler in the Dallas Newsroom. Thank you.